Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, so this is how you resize your logos. Um, I advise you to go to canva.com. Canva is a really good place to build logos and all sorts of cool graphic art. And um, I actually have to resize one of our logos. So we're going to go ahead and do this together. So when you go to Canva, you're going to hit create design and go to custom dimensions. I know the dimensions I need. This is normally set at zero. And you can pick pixels, inches, millimeters, or centimeters. I'm picking pixels today. And I need to get 2,048 pixels by 2,048 pixels to put the logo in this program that I'm using. So it's asking for your Nadir, which is their version of a logo. Um, and this is basically where I'm going to be getting my sizes from. So this, this is just for me. So I you know where I'm coming up with these numbers. You guys play around with it and figure out what you need. But basically, it's just going to give me a square. Right? This square is what this program has asked for. Now, if this is your first time using Canva, you're not going to have any uploads. Canva is really cool. It has all sorts of things you can play around with. But today, we're just going to focus on getting you what you need. Here in uploads is where you can upload all the type of things that you need here. Now, I'm basically just going to be using this logo here. I'm going to show you how to get that. So if you upload an image, it'll bring up a file from your computer. And then just pull your logo from wherever you have it saved. Um, in this case, I want to say I might have mine here. Here we go. And prior to this, this is a 500 by 500. So this particular logo size should work perfect in what I have here. Um, but I actually want it just to be blue all the way through. So I'm just going to click it, bring it up. And I'm going to get it to just the size I want. Um, go a little bigger. So Canva is really easy to crop and change your sizes with. Very, very good program. Um, it's basically Photoshop, but much more user friendly. Um, I use it for a lot, a lot of my work. A lot of it. So. It's about how big I want it. There we go. That's good what I'm looking for today. I could make this a little bit cleaner if I want to. Um, but for what I'm using for, I think that's going to be more than good enough. I do believe like I have a cleaner version of it. So if I wanted to, I could just go right over it and then kind of lift it up. Either way, so that looks fine. Um, I have all these files. This is what you would do, though. So now I'm just going to download it. And then depends on what you need it as, if it's a PNG or a JPEG. Um, I think they're asking for a PNG file. And they want it to be transparent, but that's fine with me. Um, let's see if this works for what they what they need for today. And I can always edit it. I'll go to PNG. I'll put transparent background, even though I filled the background on this. Um, and download it. I should have named it so I know what the download is going to be called. And that's it. After this, you should be able to find this in your download file, and you're going to be good to go. So canva.com, create a free account, put your sizes in, and you'll be able to resize it as large or as small as you need. If you pay $10 a month, if you're going to do a lot of graphic art, then you can resize here. This is a pro feature, so you have a little crown, and you can resize just right here.
inside of the editor. If not, you have to do it the way I showed you where you go in the custom design, set your size, upload your photos. So that's how you're going to do it on the free accounts. Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions in regards to Canva or any of the uh, programs that we use, feel free to contact us. If you're in Orlando, Florida, and you're looking for an affordable 360 tour, please contact us 407-558-2789, 407-558-CRUISE, C-R-U-Z. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.